I have a stream of water flowing and I have a piece of uncharged polyethylene. So you see when I bring it near the water, nothing happens. So here I have a piece of silk and we know that when silk makes contact with polyethylene there is a transfer of electrons from the silk to the polyethylene. The rubbing I'm doing now is going to enhance the amount of contact between the polyethylene and the silk thereby increasing the amount of negative charge or electrons that are on my polyethylene tube. I again have the water flowing and now I will bring the charged polyethylene rod towards the stream of water. And you can see how the water is attracted to the rod. Here is a model of the water molecule with one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms. Now this is a polar molecule, so the side with the oxygen will be slightly negatively charged and the side with the hydrogen atoms will be slightly positively charged. So when we bring in the negatively charged polyethylene rod, the negative charged side will be repelled and the positive charged side attracted to the rod, so the water molecules are going to rotate like this. So now the positive charge side is closer to the rod than the negative charge side. So the force of attraction between the positive charge side and the rod will be stronger than the force of repulsion between the negatively charged side and the rod. So the result will be the water stream will be attracted towards the polyethylene rod.